Hello, hola, bonjour, konnichiwa, and guten tag. It's me, Second Stage. You may have noticed that I wasn't here on YouTube lately. Um, that is because I had to do a lot of stuff lately, you know, mostly stuff outside the internet and video making. But now I'm back, and this time with something different. A lot of people ask me several questions about my Let's Draw videos about you know, how to create curved lines, about the coloring, uh, and stuff like that. Well, today I'll answer some of those questions in my little GIMP tutorial. Today's topics are... Importing drawings, the layer function, and last but not least, paths. And yes, it may sound like a lot right now, but I'll try to explain them step by step and if you have any further questions, send me a PM, a comment under the video, you know the drill. So let's get started. Okay, when I want to work on a picture, I usually have two options. One by completely creating an illustration from the gecko on GIMP with my graphic tablet or like I do it here by importing a JPEG file. Just click on File, then Open, then select your desired picture. Um, and just for the record, I'm using the German version of GIMP here, obviously, but I'll try to translate the options as well as possible. If there should be any further questions, you know what to do. I took here an already scanned picture of my collection, which I completely created with my lead pencil. And before I got my vacuum, I used to do this all the time. Even nowadays I'm using this option, especially when I made a drawing out of the blue. The question here is, what technique is the best? Well, both of them are equally good. It really depends on which one is more comfortable for you. If you are not that experienced with a graphic tablet yet, I would say, go the scanning way. For the Wacom Pros, you know the drill. Now on to the layer function, where you can create, just like the name says, separate multiple layers. This feature is very useful for the fine drawings, the coloring and many other features like filter effects and backgrounds. Imagine a thinner piece of paper on your layout, if you will. To create one just go to the little toolbox, select the layer window, then press the right mouse button on the background section. Select white as in filling area and then click on OK. But wait, now the drawing is gone. Don't worry, it's still here. Select the layer window again, then adjust the opacity level just a little bit and there we go. You can select the opacity as much as you like and then you can start with your fine drawing. So let's pretend I actually finished the fine drawing. But don't forget to switch the opacity level back to 100. Now let's color our masterpiece. Which means, right, creating another layer, just like the last one. Select layer window, then white as in filling area, and a white background, again. But this time we use a different technique. Just open the mode bar on the specific layer and select multiplication. After that you can colorate your drawing without any problems. It is also useful to give every layer a specific name like skin color, hair color, background and so far and so on. Now on to our last topic, paths. Do you know that problem? You want to draw a perfect line or a curve and you just can't do it with your graphic tablet. Well, don't worry folks, because Jim has the ultimate tool. Just select the path symbol on the little toolbox. After that, you select point A, so to speak, where your line should begin by pressing the left mouse button once. Set your end path on the desired point by clicking the left mouse button once as well. Select the following path on the toolbox. And now you can select either a new line width, including the thickness and the color, or you can use the previously used line width which I'm doing here. Select following and there we have a perfect line. Now you may be thinking, 
Well, that's great and all, but how can I create a curved line? Just watch. For that, we repeat step one from our first path, which means selecting the path symbol on the toolbox and setting the first path on the desired point by clicking the left mouse button once. Then we select the second point where our curve should end, but this time we hold the left mouse button and dragging the cursor slightly until we have our curved line. Repeat the other steps just like in the previous path by selecting following path, choosing our line width, following and there we go. I hope I could help some of you people out there. And like I said, if you should have some questions afterwards, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. If you have some requests or suggestions for future tutorial videos, let's draw us and everything else, PM me, write me a comment under the video, you know the drill. But until then, thanks for watching and see you soon.